And we're on our way to Medina Lake in the heart of the Texas Hill Country. Let's go. Fun fact, did you know that Medina Lake is actually considered a reservoir? All that crystal water comes straight from the Medina River, giving jet surfers a chance to catch the perfect wave. Speaking of jet setters, we're actually on our way to meet one of the best in the entire sport. Dana is a professional jet surfer, and as you can see, he's got some serious skills. So, let's go meet him. Howdy, AC. Welcome. Thank you. You ready to jet surf? Let's do this. All right, let's go. All right, Dana, for people who do not know what we're doing here today, can you kind of explain what the sport is? What is jet surf? Well, AC, the best way to explain jet surfing is take a surfboard or a wakeboard and shrink an engine in it and put it inside of it. It's a 100cc two-stroke engine, just like you'd find on a motocross motorcycle. And so this guy from Czechoslovakia shrunk it, put it inside the surfboard, and let it rip. Bam, and this is what we're going to be doing. That's what you'll be doing today. <laughs> and here you are, a national competitor. You just competed in Cancun for the U.S. Motor Surf Team. Um, so what is competition like? How did you get from that, that point as a hobby to now competitive side? Well, once I got my first jet surf about four years ago, I just started practicing and practicing <laughs> nonstop. And I wanted to race just because I had the motocross background. And so finally last summer, I just packed up my gear and I flew to London and went to my first competition. Did okay and a Jet Surf USA representative saw me and uh, asked me, invited me to be on the team. Easier said than done, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you go say? We check it out. Let's go do it. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, so what's the first step we need to take? <laughs> Looks like you're ready to get rolling. So as in any sport, safety first, AC. So let me just show you a couple of things. All righty. First is a life jacket. Okay. And number two, for this, since it's an adventure sport, a helmet is really good. Man, you are set up, ready to go. Let's do this. <laughs> this is a jet surf board, and it's a surfboard with an engine in it. So when you're ready to get off, if you get uncomfortable, just throw yourself off the back of it, and it'll stop, and then you can swim back up. To Perfect. It. Once you get going at a medium speed, then you'll feel the stability of it. The slower you go, the harder it will be to stand up. All right, let's do this. You ready? All right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and after a few adjustments, it was all or nothing, no holding back. <laughs> Let me just say, knee jet surfing is a whole lot harder than you think. But in no time, I finally got the hang of it. <laughs> Not bad for my first time, but now it was time for the real test. Full on jet surf. Post a couple of failed attempts, believe it or not, I actually managed to stand up. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. But hey, I got up once. Yeah, that's all I need, right? Okay, so I think I'm gonna retire now and just leave it to the pros. <laughs> Incredible. Awesome job. Thank you so much for having us out to share this with everybody. You got up the first day. That's an amazing <laughs> job. Not everybody does that. 
So you are officially a jet surfer. Yeah. You get to do this. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I get to do this. Get to do that. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> there we go. Well, everyone, I highly recommend jet surfing. Make sure to check out Dana and best of luck on your next competition. <laughs> Thank you much. All right. Yolo, Texas. Yolo, Texas. Want to learn more about this exciting sport? Visit Dana's Facebook page and follow him on social media for more info on motor surf racing.